In Creo Parametric, you can add indentation to a bill of materials. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I have a drawing of an assembly that I've used in other videos for bills of material, and this has a hierarchical structure. In other words, in the product structure, we have assemblies with subassemblies, with maybe even subassemblies at lower levels, and I want to reflect that in the bill of materials. So let's set up our bomb. Here I have a table started out. It has five columns for what I want to display in the table and two rows. The first row is a header row. The second row is where I'm going to put my repeat region. I will go to repeat region and then add. I'm going to do a simple repeat region for a bill of materials. In the message area, it is prompting me to locate the corners of the region. And I'll do one from here over to here. That's good, I will click done. Now when I double click in a cell, I can put in a report symbol. In the first column, I'm going to put RPT for report, and then index for an index number. And then where we have number, that's actually gonna be the name of the component. Assembly, member, and then here we have name. For the name, that's actually gonna be the common name assembly member here's ptc common name then i'm going to have one for the type of the component assembly member type and last one's going to be for the quantity double click in the cell and then choose rpt for report and then qty for quantity that's good let's update our tables here you can see how it is filled in over here Oops, meant to zoom out the other way, and I'm just going to do a quick check for the number of components in here. Looks like there are a total of 56, and you will notice that the quantity column is blanked. That's because we need to change the attributes of the table. I will go to Repeat Region, then Attributes. And this prompts me to select a region, so I will pick this Repeat Region. And in order to use indentation, one of the requirements is that the table has to be set to recursive. And also because I want to report the quantities, I want to have no duplicates. And I'm going to choose no duplicates at each level. And then we'll click done return. And now the table updates and it actually got more entries in it because it is recursive. You can see that there is a total of 70. And more importantly, you can see that we have quantity numbers fill it out and some of them are greater than one so let's take a look at setting up indentation i'm going to zoom in over here one other thing to note as a result of making this recursive the top line is now in the bill of materials as well in other words the name of the assembly is the first entry listed inside of here and for doing indentation let me click done out of here just to show you how to get to the command once again you will go to repeat region and in the menu manager over here we're going to choose indentation now it prompts me to pick a cell in the repeat region template so you're going to pick any of the cells that you want to have indentation with it I'm going to choose the number as one of the ones to have indentation. It prompts me to enter the amount of indentation. I'll use three spaces. I think that's good. And it prompts me to pick the next cell. In indentation has been set for this cell. Maybe I also want to have indentation in the type. So it's a little more obvious there of the structure. Once again, it prompts me for the amount of indentation. I will use three again. And then I'll choose done out of here. And then we can update tables. And you can see that it updated now. So we have a visual indication of the hierarchy. So I can see that here is the top level over here. And then these are the components at the first level. And then we have components in a subassembly over here. You can see with the indentation in the type column as well we can tell that we have this hierarchical structure.
I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the, the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.